Hey Aquarius, this could be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sun, Crystal. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome everybody. Let's just see what pops out. Remember my readings are only general readings. We only take what resonates for you, okay? You have welcoming, love, meeting the one, opening your heart. You even have the butterfly getting together and perfect. And then you even have the dragonfly. So there's like really positive things happening in your love life either now or they're about to be. You got camera. This could be somebody that you've made memories with in the past. This could be somebody from your past or maybe even like a past life to where like you guys will get flashbacks or there will be this like sudden realization of like, I know you from somewhere, you know. So let's just see. If you guys are talking about somebody right now, they could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They don't have to be, but they could be a business person, somebody that's very successful, somebody that's a provider that wants to take care of you. Okay, somebody that... And it's not even that they want to take care of you. It's somebody that wants to do right by you. This is somebody that's very loyal. Okay. Um, but if you, like I said, if you guys are in a relationship talking to somebody now or somebody in the future, this is somebody that's going to evolve pretty quickly. Um, you're going to feel like you could be yourself. They could also be an air sign with all of these, the butterfly and the dragon and the ace of swords, which is literally air. Um, but this is somebody with loyalty and the ace of swords. This is somebody who's very truthful, very honest. Um, if you ask them something, like, be prepared to, like, get the whole, like, story. This is not somebody that's going to sugarcoat things. This is somebody that is very open and honest about things, okay? Um, let's see. What is this person's intentions? You have the King of Cups. You have the Eight of Cups. And the Nine of Cups. Okay. I feel like this person kind of bringing back like the fun in, in your life. The King of Wands as I say that. Like this is somebody that like they want to make plans with you for the future. They may be coming and visiting you. Okay. But the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups with the King of Cups. They see you as like a wish. Like they wished for somebody like you. And now that you're there like they are walking towards you. They're not holding themselves back. This is also somebody that will make plans with you and like they will stick to them. This is not somebody that's going to say, oh, I'm going to do this and then it, you know, it falls through or you can't trust their word. This is somebody that's loyal to the car. core. You got the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the King of Wands. You even have the Ace of Swords, even though it's not the King of Swords, which is actually a good thing because the King of Swords can be cold hearted. This person seems like they can hold their composure. They seem very loyal, optimistic. So I'm asking, what are they going to like about you? You have the hermit. You're an old soul. You're somebody that thinks before you go ahead and speak. You know, you think about other people's emotions, the advice that you give, the way that you come across. It's like you've been here for a very long time. Like you're very mature. Um, you're also somebody that shines a light in other people's darknesses. Like you make other people feel happy. You make other people feel safe and secure. Okay. You're also a healer. Okay. You're somebody that goes within for information like if you guys are having a problem it's like you don't go outside to go see what you should do it's like you guys take that time to kind of go within and then you resolve your own problems you're somebody who's a wise soul an old soul and the way to know that is like i said you take care of other people you worry about other people you also worry about the things that you're going to say if you're going to give guidance or any type of like explanation of something you will make sure to break it down in ways to where it doesn't hurt or offend anybody like this person loves how careful you are you could be a they could be a virgo yeah the ace of pentacles the six of swords and the empress you're also somebody that does not feed into drama you're somebody that's very creative you're very confident you're very beautiful and this person feels like they'll be able to be themselves around you. You're also somebody with the Six of Swords. Like, you could have been through some type of drama in the past, but it's like you have left that all behind. Also, you just don't feed into, like, people that are talking shit, gossip, and, you know. I feel like you are always figuring out a way to make things better. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles, which is literally the luckiest card out of the deck. So this person feels very lucky to have you in their life. You're also somebody that's very stable, whether this is financial or just like when it comes down to how you handle situations and problems, like you handle it very maturely. 
Okay, you're like a queen to this person. This person really puts you on a pedestal here. Okay, with the tower, I feel like they, you know, they are going to be shocked with like, let's say, the Five of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. You may come into this person's life when they are going through something. And they're going to be shocked because, like, when they meet you, it's like you help them get over their problems right away. They don't even worry about the past. They let go of the anger. They cut out the sadness in their life. They feel like you are somebody that's destined and fated. You bring a huge change into this person's life. Okay? So let's see. Let's get advice. The Seven of Cups in Reverse. The Seven of Cups in Reverse to me is about somebody that's not confused. So, somebody that kind of knows exactly what they want. So, trust yourself. You know exactly what you want. You have the Queen of Swords. Seeing things clearly and not how you hope they would be. Also, not rushing into anything with the Six of Pentacles. Taking your time. Okay. And the Five of Wands. I think... <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like some of you guys may have a wall, okay? Because I do feel like in the past you have felt like you have been taken advantage of or taken for granted. You've put so much into other people, and I feel like it ended up hurting you in the long run. So I do feel like you guys want to take your time. But when this person comes in, like I said, with the Seven of Cups in reverse, you're not going to be confused. So trust yourself. Like, you're going to see very clearly who this person is. Don't allow your fears or the things that's happened to you in the past block you from seeing, like, the good in this person, okay? The Knight of Wands, because I do feel like there might be some kind of, like, nervous energy here of, like, how about if this doesn't go my way? But you never know unless you try, right? Scene 707. The Outcome, the Ace of Wands, the Hierophant. And the Seven of Swords. You're not going to see it coming. This person may like end up like secretly like proposing to you. Um, like this could be commitment moving in together, starting a new adventure together. This is a new beginning for you and this person. Okay. And I do feel like with the here, but this is like the traditional relationship, like, you know, starting off slowly, going on dates, really getting a chance to get to know each other on the phone 24 seven. Like when you wake up, you're texting them. When you go to sleep, you're texting them, you know, the seven of swords and the ace of wands in here. I feel like you guys go into this connection thinking that it's not really going to be anything. And it ends up being, this could be like long-term commitment, the here event. And you have the Empress, right? I mean, sorry, the Emperor. You have the Empress and the Emperor. This could be a marriage. You guys may have kids together. You guys are definitely going to have a future together. I've just seen 808. You might be seeing 707, 808, 909, things like that, numbers like that. Um, I just feel like you guys are finally meeting your person, okay? And things are going to take off very, very quickly. And I do feel like you guys are going to try to shut that down or take your time, especially if this is somebody from your past. Like you're going to have to give it more careful consideration. There could have been lies or deceit or something like this. But this connection is ascended. Okay, you guys have learned what you needed to learn. And now you guys are coming to each other like ready, whole, in your power. This is all the kings in one and she's all the queens in one. So you guys both have what, you, what each other is looking for. It's like you guys complement each other's lives. All right? And there could also be, I keep on hearing a hidden pregnancy. Ace of Wands and the Seven of Swords. There could literally, not a hidden pre pregnancy, it could just be an unexpected pregnancy. Sorry. It could also be hidden. Maybe you guys try to hide it or something. Um, maybe from your family. I don't know. But anyway, I hope this resonates. I hope this helps. And if it does, please like and subscribe. And we're going to see a timing. The star, Aquarius season, January, February, okay? This is also a wish granted. This is also when things fall into alignment, okay? Um, and then you have the judgment card. So, like, this could literally be anywhere from, like, now to Aquarius, February. January, February. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have a good day and take care. See ya.